Hello everyone. Today is 18th of January 2023 and I'm continuing my series Daily Reality with Alex. As you know, I am a ruling reality coach and I'm constantly working in this interactional process between our inner being and the outer reality. Of course, from the point of the mind, we can say that everything in the mind is happening just in the inside and there is nothing which is out there, out there. But all of us know that outside of our own personal being and experiencing, there are things, signals, data streams that are constantly feeding our five senses and the only thing we are doing is we are computating this information, these images, this data stream, and we are able with our perception and with all the conditioning that is done within our own personal mindfulness experience to translate this information into a meaningful experience for each one of us. And later on, we are to understand what we are, why we are, where we are, and what's our meaning and purpose. And a lot of us are just going through life, don't understanding actually the construct of reality in which we are. And that's why when we are monitoring the data stream, we are not able to understand why all the processes and why everything is working the way it is working and what exactly each one of us is supposed to do and what we are not supposed to do. It is very important because in order all of us to be able to influence reality, we are to understand the generating principle, which consists of four main points. It is the mind that is part of the generating of reality also, the important part is the heart. Then it is important, the gut center. And the fourth part of generating and manifesting and co-creating into reality or expressing ourselves, or it doesn't matter how you call it, is the so-called care principle. And it is very important to understand reality in order to know what we are caring about, what is important for us, and what is out of our realm of care, and what is within our realm of influence, and what matters exactly for us. That's why once we start going and deep diving into reality, once we know that reality is made based on different hierarchical structure with different roles that each of the beings is playing, once we understand that it's not only the human beings that are participating in the same reality, and I don't mean only the physical matter reality, which is the effect of all the causalities that are happening behind the scene, because actually behind the scene, it's not only us that are able to enter, but there are a lot of other players that are working behind the scene in order all of us to experience our data streams. So what is important, according to me, to understand that in reality and in the construct, there is also a hierarchical principle and we, the human beings, are in the top of our own personal realm of existence, but we are not on the top of the hierarchical pyramidal structure of all creation and existence. It is very important to know exactly what is our positioning because if we ask our mind, our mind thinks that it is the only thing that exists in reality. My personal mind will never take into account you 
or somebody else because for my personal mind there is nobody else he is the king and the ruler of my mindfulness experience and he is not able to allow anyone else inside of the same mind so then me as being the ruler of my own personal being where is my mind center where is my heart center where is my gut center and where i'm interacting with the outer reality as a ruler i need to know what is my different parts of me possible to do and what they're not possible to comprehend and to experience this is why if we only go into the mindfulness and only go into the mindset we will never be able to understand reality yes we are going to try to hack it yes we are maybe able to understand some principles for some time and they can sometimes work sometimes don't work but it is so because we are not the only creatures that are responsible for the reality outcomes it's not only my intent that is working in the outer reality which is not the reality of the effects of the data streams that all of us are experiencing but actually the outer reality is the reality of the causality that is creating the outer data stream for all of us and there it's not working only my intent it's not working only your intent it's working the intent of all the beings that already exist in time in space in different realms in different dimensions all of us are in the same causality plane which is not seen which cannot be felt or felt but it exist and there we need to know exactly what we are responsible for and what we are not responsible for and that's why it's important to understand the hierarchical structure of reality of course every being that exists will never be able to exclude the possibility that there is a creator of course, less aware are the beings, less understanding and a possibility for imagination of a creator can exist. For example, I'm not sure if the animals, if the ants, if all the creatures that are with little or less consciousness as us understand that there is a creator above them for sure they understand that there is a threat that is coming from the outside and they are to be aware of everything that they cannot control and they are constantly able to go into survival mode we are border zone creatures we are one level above the animals and we understand that for us life is not only about survival we are having experiences but we are long outlive the only available possibility and probability that we are existing only to survive and that's why we are hiding and searching for the purpose of meaning of being and experiencing something more than survival and then if we are not able to open ourselves to open our awareness to open our perception to open us to the probability that there are beings that are above us that are with higher level of consciousness than us that are experiencing the same reality in a totally different manner than we are then we will not be able to understand why and how reality is working the way it is working of course it is very easy for the modern man just to say well alex everything in the past all the stories all the mythos all the legends about existence of gods or something above the human beings 
it is a totally untrue because now we as modern people we understand much more and we are not going to allow anything outside the physical matter reality to exist and even if something else is responsible for some of the things that are happening in our physical matter reality we are going to depersonalize them and to tell that this is some type of forces that we still haven't been able to rule or to maintain or to understand and this is how we are going to perceive everything that is not according to plan in our personal data streams but what about the people of the old were not so ignorant as we think what about actually it is part of the normal process of the human being to understand and to acknowledge that there are beings above us and that they are 100% interacting and working in our causality plane that is creating effects for the human beings also. For me, this is a very important subject because I know that they exist. I personally am 100% sure, of course, by my own personal experiences, but also because even my mind is convinced that it is impossible reality to exist if something above my mind is not governing my being because my being with its egoistic urges is able and willing to consume and to take everything out there that is. And if you let me and lose me, out i'm able to consume everything in reality and there is a big potential in the human beings to really become very fierce and monstrous type of being that are willing if allowed to just consume everything that is possible to be consumed and since these urges, these inner energies are inside of all of us collectively, we are to be governed by higher consciousness beings than we are, and we don't like it, and we start to feel that we are under control, we start to resist the matrix, we don't want to allow someone above us to govern us. We don't want the idea of a hierarchical government in any sense to exist. We want to be 100% individual free to be able to do whatever is possible but the civilizational principles of humanity has brought us anyhow to hierarchical structures into our own personal experience but it anyhow exists on the different levels of experience of reality for all the beings that are out there if we think that reality is only us if we think that reality is only our mind we will not be able long term not only to understand reality but we are not able long term to interact efficiently in this reality and that's why i'm strongly putting my mind into reflecting and allowing and working on this type of possibilities and more and more i cannot comprehend and understand that there is a possibility for existence of any other model but the hierarchical structure of governance of all the creation on the different levels of experiences and for me this is uh, very important because then i know my what is my role what is my expertise where is my power and i'm not willing to go and to look up and to try 
to take and to be in the place of the beings above and to be concerned with the things that are regarding governing laws and governing things of the existence that is not up to my level of experience. Of course, right now, we have the World Economic Forum that is going on in Davos, and there we have all the human beings of the elite gathered together, and we as human beings are creating different types of egregores, of organizations that are going to help us self-govern ourselves and they are brainstorming and thinking about our future because they are part and they are willing strongly to work into governing our own humanity without me or you to give them power but they decided that this is the only option so they are taking this opportunity and they are making decisions for me and you yesterday, the day before yesterday, and they are going to make these decisions in the next several days. Then we have the world governments that are there in our experiences that are taking care and are governing us. A lot of us are saying, well, Alex, we don't like governments. We want to be independent. We want to be free. We are going to be dreaming for financial freedom. We just want to be in places where I can speak whatever I want. I don't want to care about governments and so on and so on. But governments are allowed to exist in our reality because everything that is present in this uh, 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 reality is actually allowed to happen. It's allowed to exist. And if it's so, we are to understand that there is something that is happening beyond the scene, beyond the structures that we are perceiving with the five senses. And it is allowed for the human beings to be governed. And of course, all of us are thinking, and we know from history that there are different types of governments. More of them till the last 200 years were uh, the so-called tyrannical or kingly governments or elitarial type of governments. Today, we are thinking that there is a possibility or option for all of us to decide and to change and do a lot of things. And all of us know that it is 100% some type of a fake show and we are not sure what exactly is happening and why we are to be governed and who are we to choose and so on and so on. And Switzerland is the only country where they have referendums. Everyone is as much as possible interactively playing into small different decisions and they're trying to become a uh, rulership that is much more closer to the people. But anyhow, it doesn't matter what we are creating in reality. The important thing is that hierarchical structures, it's impossible not to exist because this is the way the structures of reality work even beyond us where other creatures also exist. So it doesn't matter how much we in the human experience want to create, want to divert, want to resist what is. As much as we want to go out of the matrix, as much as we say we don't like it, we don't want what is happening, we are able to be out of the matrix. We are able to be individuals. We are able just to create whatever we want. We are sure that we can. And then we go into the different bubbles of thinking and understanding and going into simulation theories and a lot of other things, but long term, interaction in the physical matter reality with this type of fake bubblish idea is not going to create real influence and real physical matter substance. So paradoxically, I have personally decided to take my position of understanding the governing powers that are beyond me. And maybe I'm doing it because I know what are my powers and what are the structures that are working 
under me and I know exactly what type of objective decisions I am to make in order everything that I'm governing under me to work in such a way that my personal will is not subjectively influencing the decisions that I'm making for the governance of everything that is below me. The same is valid for those invisible beings that are to govern us. And that's why I like this by biblical verses where it said that we are to pray for all the ones that are governing us or to give a positive intent if we want to live in peace. But once we as human beings are resisting and we are ignoring and we are neglecting the powers, we are neglecting the structures, then paradoxically, instead of having more freedom, more ability to be who we are, we are on a contrary receiving and taking the feedback of more dictatorships and more control and more um, in such a way experiences that are not allowing us to express. And so only those of us who are willing and are able to understand the paradoxical principle that we are to revere, we are to honor the structures that already are and exist in the reality construct and that all those structures are allowed to exist only for one purpose, to be beneficial and supporting the beings below to be able to express more of whom they are. And we know that in reality, nothing is happening perfectly. And a lot of times, all the ones that are responsible for the rulership and we have delegated them the rights and so on and so on are not doing their job or some are doing their job good and so on and so on. But long-term, we are to anyhow acknowledge this type of authorities. And I know it doesn't look like very strongly and fundamental independent and freedom movement and truthers type of movement where reality is only me and nothing else, where only I matter where only my amness is creating everything. I understand there is big power in solipsism, but also we are to consider all the other factors that are out there. And once we are moving into reality by acknowledging and understanding that there is a hierarchy and there are beings that are above us, there are structures, there are egregores and organizations that are above us and we are living in these structures that are created for us in the moment to move in if we are resisting everything we are going to have the resistance back but if we are able to understand how to honor what is but in the same time to rise ourselves up and also to stand up in our own personal rulership because every human being has the same type of rulership hierarchical principle. The I amness inside of me is responsible for my heart, for my feelings, for my states of being, for my mind, for my attention, for my focus, for my desires, for my urges, for everything that I'm creating as flows. And then I amness that I am the essence 
the invisible part of me is responsible about what I care in the physical matter reality for. And if I'm not in a position to care for the big nations, the big geopolitics, the big geoeconomies, and I'm not put into such positions, this means that I am not to openly criticize or to openly go into rejection and to say, well, everything that is out there is just 100% negative and the only the positive thing in reality is just me. Because actually there is so much work that each of us as individual need to do in our own personal reality of existence. And of course, we are acknowledging all the other things that are outside of us that are also possible to intervene in our reality, but on a much more general principal way, which is a lot of objective and it is for all the people in the area where we are in. And this is why for me, this is helping me a lot in order to be able to move very efficiently in reality and all my energy to be put only in the things that matter for me. I am responsible to the rulership of only what I care for in my personal reality and the levels that are put beyond me for which I am to take care of in my stewardship experience. But for the levels that are above me, I'm just putting a positive vibe. I'm just praying for them to rule in such a way that it is beneficial for all of us so that all of us are to be able to live in much more peaceful environment where all of us are able to express more of who we are. And if they're not able to do what they're put there to do, it is not according to my level to judge them. There are then beings above them that are judging and putting intervention upon the levels that are above us. And in reality, everything is working hierarchically. And then we start thinking, well, Alex, but then we are going to become powerless. Then we're just slaves to the ones that are above us. Then what is happening? We just want to be rulers of everything. Can't we just rule over all the universe? Can't we just ask, decide who is going to put the stars and why the sun is just doing like this or the moon is doing like that? We want to decide about everything. We want to be rulers upon everything that exists. We want everything that exists to be under us or under me specifically. This is not what I'm meant to be. This is not what are my probabilities and capabilities. And yet I'm a limitless being inside of me and I'm able to express myself, but only in the realm where, are, where I'm put or allowed to be. It is very important principle because then a lot of people are going into so big delusions that then later when they understand that nothing is happening out of their interaction with reality and they can manifest nothing big, they say, well, actually I cannot do anything. So I'm going to stop and I'm just going to disappoint and I'm just going to retreat inside of me and I'm not going to any time and anyhow try to do whatever because we want to go into the big gym of reality while we are already given our own personal gym with which we are interacting daily and it is the gym of our body. If we learn how 
to rule our tongue, if we learn how to rule our thoughts, if we learn how to rule everything that is happening inside of us, then we are just to trust that the universe and the universal construct of reality knows its work, knows how to bring all that is beneficial and supportive for us into our data stream. So it was very freeing for me when I realized that the only thing I am to change into the reality is only myself. And this is the most powerful thing that each of us can do. And this is actually the biggest potential from which everything in the hierarchical structure of reality is afraid of. Because once I change, once you change, once a lot of humans start to change their perspective, their mindfulness, their vision, their way of being, then we are changing reality from the inside out. We are creating ripple effects and all these beings above us are in necessity to bring us a reality that is 100% reflecting our new change and state of being. So I hope all of you are understanding now the big paradox of reality that we are to accept the raw reality as it is in order to be able to explode into our potential of who we are. So this is all for today. Enjoy your reality and don't worry. Everything that is coming into our data stream matters only to the extent of us to be able to work inside of our limitless being and to know how to rule it and to express ourselves. This is why I have built my program, Ruling Reality Basics. And somewhere in the end of February, I'm going to give 10 subscriptions for my program for free. It will be a type of scholarship where 10 of you are going and are going to be able to experience Ruling Reality Basic program for themselves. And so all of those of you that are interested can chat me and DM me in different ways. And then we will work forward towards this moment in February where this is going to be reviewed and can become part also of your own reality. Thank you for watching today. Bye-bye, enjoy your reality, and enjoy the construct as it is.